Stay focused, get in the rhythm, and, and try to get into the basics when things have been so different. Yeah, it, it changes here and there. We'll go through a pretty good stretch here of, of Sundays in a row. Um, but yeah, it, it changes and not not too abnormal. You know, we've all played Thursday games and primetime games, so we're, we're good. Jared, I, I feel like we jinxed you maybe when we were asking about the interception this streak a couple weeks ago, so maybe no. play muster. This is the reverse jinx. No, uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. Do you, how do you just make sure you take better care of the ball? Yeah, I, I wouldn't blame you guys. I, you got to be smart with it. Um, <laughs> I've had three. Two of them are bad throws. One was a bad decision. Um, try to, you know, limit the decision ones. You know, those are the ones that really sting. But yeah, just got to take care of the ball better and uh, really limit that. It's something I'm focused on. What does it say though that you've been able to, not just you, but the, the team as well, has been able to overcome those? Yeah, it means a lot. Yeah, it's the signs of a good team uh, when I make mistakes or, um, and the defense gets a stop and then we get the ball back and score. Um, again, I said it kind of after the game. Yeah, it's good we're responding well. I'd like to stop having to respond well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good sign. What was your reaction when you first got the news that you know JMO would be returning? And how do you see him fitting in the mix? Yeah, I was kind of confused actually. I didn't understand what it meant and first had to like kind of read into it and see what it was. But yeah, excited now we get him back and um, he'll add some some stuff to our offense that uh, we were we were missing a little bit. And um, yeah, it's it's fun to have him back and and he gives a little spark. Different pass catchers so far this season, Jared, to a clip of like 69.5 percent. When you have one more like him, how does how do you have enough balls to go around? Yeah, we will. Yeah, we we always will. It's not my job, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll throw to the open guy, and um, hopefully he'll be a part of that. But yeah, he's getting himself ready, and um, yeah, we'll have him in there to to some extent this week, and see what he can do. Jared, this offense is what's the biggest challenge with JMO? Like you know, with this layoff, like mixing him into the plan as far as is it red zone stuff, like getting on the same page with him. What's the biggest challenge? There's really no getting on the same page with him. I don't think we feel. I feel good with him. It's just getting him reps. Um, whenever you're off for that long, I don't care who you are. You just need reps to get back into it and feel the speed of it, and um, you know, run some plays and, and be on the field with all of us. But um, yeah, that would be it. If you want to call that getting on the same page, maybe it is. But um, I feel good with him on, on on really everything we're on. As electric as this offense has been so far, is it is it tantalizing to think getting Jamo back to add that kind of speedster deep threat element? What this offense could potentially be? Yeah, he adds that. I think he adds a hell of a lot more than that. He he can do you know a lot of different things, but um, yeah, he, it's it's just getting another playmaker for us, another guy that can make plays in space. And um, you know we're we're three and one and have been you know pretty good on offense without him, and hopefully he can take us to that next level. But um, yeah, we've got we've got room to improve outside of him as well, which is which is exciting. The way this running game has been so assertive in, in closing out games, what does that do for you? What does it do for this offense when people are yeah. expecting that almost? Yeah, it's nice to close the door, and it, it's really you know imposing your will on a defense when they know you're going to run it. The whole stadium knows you're going to run it, and you still run it and get the first down. And um, you know it's a credit to those guys up front, our running backs, are doing a hell of a job finishing off games. And um, it's nice to finish with the ball in your hands. How about playing through the injuries at the offensive line that what Taylor did last week and, yeah. and telling us, hey, it's going to hurt, but I want to be out there? Yeah, we were talking about that today. It, it, you know, it, he's, he's such a good player that him at whatever percentage he's at is, is you know, often better than the alternative. So having him out there was, was really important. Um, and I know he, he wishes that things went a little bit differently, but I told him, I'm like, man, you battled. Like, you could see it. You, you did your best. And, um, kept us in the game in a lot of ways with, with what they had with Rashawn Gary there on, on his side and some of the pass rush stuff was, was pretty impressive by him. But yeah, he got it out and hopefully can get a little healthier as we go on. To begin with Brad, just how nice was it to see Dak Big B yeah. back out there again, kind of yeah. getting all the pieces back, but you played so well even without them. Just yeah. those guys back, that's kind of pretty exciting too. Yeah, anytime you can gain depth like that, it's 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 helpful. Yeah, and, and V is a guy that we love to have back. and. Um, you know, see him get out there again, but he, you know, I think Graham's done a great job stepping in. So uh, it's it's been good to have healthy depth come back, and um, always, always good to to be able to get five or six, seven guys that can play out there that are healthy. A couple of the defensive guys yesterday talked about this as a revenge game, I guess, for lack of a better word. Right? They beat you last year yeah. and kind of you know kicked your butts a little bit running the ball at least. Do you, does the offense sort of feel that way too? Is there any sort of? Sure. Yeah, I, I think you, you know it's. A game that we kind of needed last year, and they kind of, you know, kicked our ass in some ways at their place. And um, you know, obviously different coach, different players, but a lot of those guys are still there. And uh, yeah, we, we'd like to, you know, get our get our chance back now. And um, I know they're going to come with it. They 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 could need a win, and, and so do we. So it's a uh, it's going to be a t good battle. I think this is going to be one of the best defenses we'll play all year. So it'll be a challenge for us. Quarterback's perspective, even when he's not getting the ball, what that kind of speed can do to, to help out an offense. Yeah, well, it can, it can 
stretch the field and, 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 you know, back the safeties up, back the corners up and open things up underneath. And then, you know, certainly in some things, uh, you know, going across the field can move, can displace coverage as well. Um, yeah, his, his speed's a problem for, for defenses, and um, it's our job to get him the ball in space and, and, and let him go with it. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's been nice to have him back and um, hopefully can make an impact sooner than later. I'm just curious, what do you do when you have a Sunday off? Are you still obsessive and watching every game on Sunday, or do you go yeah. to the Cider Mill? No, I did not go to the Cider Mill. Um, watch some of the games. Watch, this, watch the Carolina game um, against Minnesota. Um, yeah, that was really it. Just hang out. Yeah, I just watch it on TV. I get, I get a pretty good grasp and then go upstairs and watch it for real. Yeah, but yeah, YouTube uh, subscription works. So. Jared, what is, what is the balance between your running game and your passing game? What has that brought to your overall offense, being able to do it at high efficiently? Yeah, it's been good. And, and I think I kind of mentioned earlier, like we've, we've and we talked about this earlier in the week, we've been a good offense, but we, we can really be a lot better. And, um, both the run and the pass. There's a, there's a bunch of areas to improve and get it sharper at, and, and some of the you know mistakes that are happening are, are things that we can't repeat. And um, it's been good to see guys respond the right way, and I'm I'm just as much a part of that as anybody. Some of the stuff that I've done it needs to needs to improve. And um, but yeah, it's it, we've we've done things at a good clip right now, and um, knowing that we we have room to grow is is kind of the most exciting part. It was a viral moment. It was kind of funny where Ryan Fitzpatrick caught. <laughs> Poor man's Matt Ryan, man. What do you think about those comments where he was joking around a little bit? Yeah, gave him a hard time. <laughs> Ryan's a good dude, but that's it. A couple more, guys. You, you feel like you've silenced most or all of your critics just over the last you know, year Don't and a half. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. There's still going to be some, and there will always be. Uh, even if I'm playing great, if I'm playing poorly, there will always be haters and lovers and uh, ignore them all. And, Keep trying to get better. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Well, can you just take us through kind of what was your daily regimen when, when you were away from the team? Did you have kind of a set schedule, workout schedule? Or what were you doing to kind of keep yeah, yourself? Yeah, I had a set schedule. I'd do um, some workout in the morning, and then I'd come back and work out again on the field. So I had a little two a day going on. How good was it just to get back in the building, get back in practice, and be back with the guys again? Uh, it's awesome. I feel good. Uh, today was one of the better days in the last month I didn't have just getting out there and getting on the field. We had a good day yesterday, so today I put pads on. I feel good today out there with the guys. Can you run us through when, when you learned the suspension was, was being lifted and just, I guess, the emotions you felt in that moment? Oh, I feel good. That was It was last week after the game, so we just got a dub. You know, three and one, now I heard this news. I could get back and play, um, get out there and get some reps in, just get some good time in with the team. You know, we doing good right now. Just trying to keep that going on. Um, it's just a process, you know, whatever Ben got going on for me, we're going to get in, we're going to execute, we're going to make it a good time. Uh, we're just looking forward to keep winning, you know. we got we 3 and one right now. Hopefully we could just keep the season going. We just went ill, make it to the playoffs, go far. What, was the, what did you work on or could you work on when you were home and working out by yourself in uh, these I, weeks? I did a lot of catching. I was on the judge machine. I got a judge machine at the house. I did a lot of catching, so. That was one of the things I was working on. When did you get that jugs machine? I've been had it. You've had yeah, it? Yeah. How many catches did you do? I, mean, I was doing like 100 a day. It was every day. So you do the math on that. <laughs> and that's a lot of catches. <laughs> yeah. Jim, how, what's going to, do you think it's going to take you just a minute, a little bit of time to kind of get in sync with Jared and the offense? Uh, no, I don't think so. We had we had time at camp. Uh, we just had some time today. Uh, we just, after practice, we get we get stuff, whichever, whatever you think is good, we need. So. I don't think it'd take a lot of time. I think it's, it'd be good work and we'd get going. There's going to be a lot of expectations on you, especially this first game. I mean, do you welcome that or, or is that something uh, I, ain't, I ain't really tripping off that. Like I said, I said it, I stated a couple times. I just trying to win. You know, we three and one right now. Just trying to keep that going. We asked you so many questions before you were gone of, hey, what do you think it's going to be like missing those games, having to watch your teammates and not being able to even talk to your coaches? What was it like mentally for you? Uh, I would say I only had one like one bad day. It was probably versus Kansas City. Uh, that game, I watched that game. It was the first game of the season. But after that, I watched every other game, same spot in the house. Uh, it was good, though. You know, it was just, I guess that one was hard for me because it was the first game of the season. Uh, 
after that, though, calm down. We had some good days. Seeing the way that the fans have rallied around this team and they're off to a 3-1 and one start, how hungry are you to be part of this energy that's overtaken the city? Uh, I'm real hungry. Like I said, I just want to keep this going. Uh, it's something that Detroit haven't seen in a while. So we just try and keep this going as a team, play good team ball, play good ball, and just get wins. You said that first Thursday was, was a bad day, right? Kind of being away from it, maybe it hit you. What was it like to explain what that first that uh, game? What'd you do? How could you not? I didn't really do nothing. No. I, I, I kind of prepared. I would say I prepared like I was playing. It was I was just happy the whole day just to try and keep the emotions away from me and stuff like that. But... I was up that whole day, but it was just hard. Like once the clock hit and the game time hit, I see my guys going out there and they're all white. Just make a play. <laughs> so, yeah, for sure. Hey, you watch it. Are you happy that they changed the rules? Uh, yeah, for sure. I wouldn't. I'm not mad. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I get to play football. Uh, to get back to it. You know, I expected it to be longer, but thank God we we here to this day and. We good. Well, I feel like we 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 converting and we executing. Uh, the play get called, your number get called. We had multiple receivers in the game, but when your play get called, if, if it's a block or it's just a catch or it's a third down conversion, fourth down conversion, your number get called, you just make that play. So that's what I've been seeing a lot of. I've been seeing a lot of that on both sides of the ball, though, like making plays. it has been a lot of plays made, you know. Jameson, beyond how those rules impacted you, the change to the, the gambling rules, what do you think of them in general? Just more fair, more... You know, I don't really pay attention to those type of things. I just, something happened to me. I heard the rules. I just had to sit away from the team. And then I don't really know much about those rules, but, um, you know. Did you watch a lot of other football games? I mean, oh, yeah, football I, game I, watch, I, watch every, I watch every game. I got a lot of guys on different teams I went to school with, uh, guys I know from high school we played ball with. Uh, so I try to watch all those games and make sure I get my guys on the field. You know, I'm, I was texting them the most. Every, after every catch, I text them emojis. Oh, yeah, let's keep going. Like, you got to ask St. Brown. I'm texting him during the game. He getting a message during the game. Like. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've been seeing him first first week. You can ask him after the first pick. I'm texting him the, the minute it happened. I picked up my phone and text him. I've been the start that he's had. I mean, you went through it as a rookie. Where I know you came in late, but just how tough it is. Oh yeah, I feel like I think that's a great start. Uh, he he got attention. Uh, a lot of people he got a lot of people attention. You know, a lot of people know he could play ball now. So he just gotta keep that going. I, I know he can keep it going because I didn't see him for a couple years playing football. So. You're a real good ball player. I told people that from the start, so, you know. How soon did you get texts back from um, the guys that you texted oh, during the game? I ain't worried about texts back. <laughs> I don't know, though. I ain't, it was probably after the game or, like, later that night, but I wasn't even worried about the texts back. I'm just texting them, letting them know I'm here. I'm, I'm watching, you know. How's the hamstring, and do you feel game ready right now? Yeah, I'm good. I feel good. Uh, over the time, we got we got everything together, and yeah, I'm ready to go. Do you think you will... Uh... Suit up this week? Yeah, I feel I, I I I feel like I would. I was suited up today. <laughs> uh no, I'm just yeah, I'm a Pistons fan. I like the Pistons. I got a relationship with a couple guys on the team. Uh, I try to go to a couple games when I can. So yeah, I just I got a relationship with staff over there and a lot of people over there. So. Is there anything for a receiver that's the hardest to kind of um, kind of get back into the swing of things to master, like the red zone, two minute, four minute, anything like that? No, nah, I, I wouldn't say that. The whole time, like I, I was, I was staying in shape and I was catching, so I was I was doing those things to where I, when I get back, I'm gonna be ready. So I guess that happened, and I'm ready for it now. So I just gotta tune up some little smaller things, and we ready to go. How long is the hand? Uh, been, I feel like we've been good for a little minute now. I've been running well and running routes and getting moving around well since. Uh, yeah, I feel good. Were you able to, to get, I guess, the updates on the playbook during your no, no, no. But it's, it's like I, I got my mind on the playbook, so I'm watching plays. I'm trying to put the plays together. That so. Is, it's it a good. Lot, is, it, is the playbook a lot different from when you left? No, no. It's actually easier in the season. You know, it's narrowed down. We, we got a couple, we know that we're going to run certain things in camp. The playbook wide open. We got the whole playbook. So it's easier, you know. Offense, it does that. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, it definitely, uh, 
you have to be, you have to be be, your P, be on your p's and q's in first and second down just you know stopping the run and get him in you know less efficient down second and long and then you can capitalize from there last year that carolina game was such a big game for you guys and to not come out with the win what's your feeling like going back into this one against them this year yeah i mean it's honestly it's a new year um you know, we still have that memory, but um, it is a new year, new defense for us, um, a lot of new pieces that we didn't have last year. So, you know, it's kind of like we have the memory, but we also are looking forward to, you know, this new game. The wins are, have not been there for that Panthers team. What do they do well that, that you have to watch out for this week? Yeah, I mean, they, they do a good job. I think number number nine does a good job using his feet. Um, you know, figuring out where to throw the ball and, um, you know, it just hasn't been clicking for them completely, but at the same time, it's, it's the NFL and they'll get going at some point. Just, um, you know, we have to capitalize when we have our chances on them. What's more painful, the memory of that loss or the memory of playing on that turf last year? The turf. I'll tell you, the turf. <laughs> it was bad. Coming out of that win, just uh, sorry, just to have Jamison back here, and it just seems like good news keeps coming in for you. Brian's injury wasn't as bad. Is it? Yeah. Do you guys sense something special building in this room? Yeah, I feel like it, we're adding some key. We're getting healthier, which is a good thing. Um, you know, we're three and one and getting healthier, so we're gonna add the pieces like JMO and. Um, you know, and obviously that's had nothing health, health related, but, um, you know, in other spots we are too. So, you know, it's exciting to see we're, we're moving and grooving right now, so we just got to keep it going. Sorry if you've been asked this already, but you guys are number one in the league in, in run defense. Just what do you think has oh, been really? the catalyst behind that? <laughs> 60, I mean, it's, it's, it's been historically good. Uh, probably linebacker play. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, I feel like uh, we're just playing. I feel like run defense is, is the whole team. It's the corners, it's the linebackers, it's the D-line, it's the safety. So, um, you know, it's a credit to everyone, really. You know, the teams were figuring out last year how to, you know, get certain, you know, weaknesses exposed, and this year there really are none so far. So uh, we just got to keep it that way. When did you turn the corner with that? Because it seemed like last year, you know, that second half of the year you started yeah. being – Better. Honestly, I don't, I don't really know a specific time we turned the corner, but I know we had some personnel change. Like getting Jerry back really helped um, in the run game a lot last year. Um, you know, just making some personnel and some philosophical changes helped uh, a decent amount. So, sense of pride that you guys take in that. Right. Yeah. I feel. Like, I feel like we we take the run game as you know you're trying our manhood and um, we take it personal. So. Um, you know, it's worked out for us so far. Not only that, though, but 12 sacks, too. You know? mm -hmm. So it's not like you're just stopping the run. You're getting oh, after yeah. the pass or two. And how difficult is a defense to contend with you when you can stop the yeah, run I know. and get after the I pass? I know. We randomly have a really good pass rush, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's good. It's, it's, it's a credit to our run defense. And then when we get him a second along, we could get after the passer. So, um, you know, just being about... You know, offense is talking about being efficient. It's about being efficient on defense and getting them those second long situations. So how fun is it playing defense right now for this team? It just yeah. Seems like it. Everybody's yeah, right. making plays. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. It seems contagious. Yeah, it's, it is contagious. And everyone's making plays, and it's, it's just fun to fun to be out there flying around. So um, we just got to keep it going, man. It's four four weeks in. We just got to keep it going.